I just wrote an email and in it I mentioned Tim Berners-Lee's talk at TED on linked data and so I quickly went to the talk and watched it and took notes on it and I'm sending these notes in an email I could just send them in an email like this and then uh, they would only be in the email and not exist anywhere else but instead I recorded them in data pod format this is the name of an item video notes item these are video notes and this is an item so this is a video notes item then I have the URL of the talk the title of the talk and the notes everything between these brackets and the whole purpose of this is so I can reuse this data so I can send this email off and the person who receives the email can read this but I can take this data and put it in a datapod website and reuse it and I'll show you how to do that now you go to the datapod website tengmainfo dpphp and download the latest version save uh, yeah go ahead and save it here and then uh, go there and you will have a zip file just unzip it like this and then this if you look inside is a website it's a PHP website so rename it to for instance video notes cut it control X and then go to your PHP webs you can install this with XAMPP in about 10 minutes control V and I now have a video notes uh, folder under my webs and as you can then see here if I type in localhost uh, video notes video notes I get the application that I just downloaded login the login is dev dev to begin with never and create item type then go back uh, to your email copy this paste it in you also need a schema so video notes items it has this strange nomenclature because just because notes is a a um, non-count noun uh, so each item is not a video note and the collection is not video notes but each item is a video notes item <laughs> anyway uh, then you have to re you have to define your fields so the first one here is a URL I'll call it website and it's of type URL and then I have a title which is of type line and that's the default so I don't put anything after that and then after that everything in these brackets is uh, between these brackets and these brackets are notes so I'll call it for instance body and it's of type paragraph it's a custom item type create it now so it's creating the item type and a page and has already displayed it for us which is great it also has a little icon there and it has edit add copy and delete so I can already click edit here and edit this for instance I can improve the title by putting in capital N click manage item oh I need to change that to edit item anyway or save or whatever and you see that the title has the change in it I can also say for instance copy this means it takes the item that I was working on copies it and uh, another TED talk for instance which has other notes and has a URL extras we don't have any now uh, click and now you see I have two records and so you can already see that this data that was originally just going to be notes sent to somebody in the email is already records that can be displayed and organized and managed on a website to further demonstrate 
this, let me uh, go into Eclipse and uh, actually open up the or create a project for uh, the website that we just made. So that's all you have to do is say project video notes and then go down to custom pages and that's the page that was just created and this is what is displaying uh, the page that we just saw. So if I say display it in one column and reload then it displays it in one column. And I can for instance take this out and say just display uh, video notes. Let's see. Uh, video notes items. Yeah. Display video notes items. And not this. And if you reload it, you see that the default display for video notes or for items in Datapod is a grid. And the important thing is that it's not just, or the important thing about the Datapod format is that these are not just fields, text fields, but they are, they have data types. For instance, this field here, website, has a data type URL, which is why this generic grid knows to display it as a URL. And if you look down here when I mouse over, you can see that if I click here, it's actually going to take me to that uh, TED Talk online. So now let me show you how to very easily customize how you display this. So I'm going to say uh, create item type, item type method for video type uh, video notes items uh, plural and display um, for site display for site for instance just to have a name and it's been created. I can see that it's been created if I go to custom item types and um, go into here. These are the item types classes. You straighten all this out. And display for site. This is what it's going to display. So you who know HTML know that this is going to be in a unordered list. The singular item is displaying the data here and it's going to display the website in a nice format. So let's see how that looks if I go back to the page that displays all this and I say uh, display for site. Go back to uh, the page that displays this. You see that it's displaying them in nice uh, format here which also takes you to the site and how does it know that let's go to this singular item it's just saying here display nice you can see what other ways you can display this let's say display raw data nice that's another one I made to display it a little differently if I reload this you see that it's displaying the raw data but also a, gives you the functionality of of going there. So you see um, that you have a number of ways of displaying a URL type just for your information. The data types are all here, system data types. And this is the, for instance, URL type, and this is the line type. So let's display this in a slightly different way. Let's just display the um, uh, you can display the raw data actually like this website okay this is just the very raw data with no uh, data type what whatsoever but usually you want to use the data type objects or the data yeah the data type objects themselves so title uh, this is a uh, data type line so it has slightly different display methods I say display with URL for instance which is very useful this is the title which is being displayed with a URL well the URL is website and semicolon and go back and you can see how it's displayed and so now you have a nice list of all of your talks with a functionality that um, it goes to the URL when you click it 
So what I'm going to do now is um, fix these up a little bit with some formatting. Here you see uh, I've added a font size. So let's look at it again. And it's a little bit bigger. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to want... Uh, well, first we'll add the notes. Uh, to do that, you just say here, add notes, uh, div, and uh, we want dt 